Hello, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are continuing with the work and energy. In the last class, we learned till about the kinetic energy and potential energy. And we did some numericals also, isn't it? And today we are going to continue with the portion that is conservation of energy. So what is meant by conservation of energy? Conservation means energy is conserved. That means energy is not losing anywhere. It remains a constant. Okay, that is one form of energy is converting to another form. It is not losing anywhere. Energy is not losing anywhere. It is converting from one form of energy to another form. That is called a conservation of energy. Energy is not losing anywhere. It is converting from one form of energy to another form. That is called a conservation. Energy conservation. Okay. So here, if I am considering the uh, any one, this is light, bulb. While I am considering bulb, I am giving electrical energy. That electrical energy is converting it into light energy and heat energy. Some of heat energy also will be producing. So electrical energy is converting it into light energy plus heat energy. And while we are giving some taking electric motor, while we are considering what is happening, we are giving electrical energy to it and that is converting to mechanical energy and some of the part is converting to heat energy. Okay, so that is energy is converting from one form to another. It is not changing or it is not losing energy. It is just converting the form, one form of energy to another form that is called a conservation. Okay, clear? So, here in the case of mechanical energy, if I am considering the mechanical energy, how we can explain this mechanical energy in the case of conservation? See, here I am taking an object from here to the a particular height h. Okay, so here the and or if it is dropping from here to down, any one way I am considering. First, I am considering while it is dropping from one particular height to uh, the ground. Okay, when we are considering that, here at a particular height h, what is the energy which is existing over there? Energy is mgh. Okay, at the ground level, what will be the energy? That is kinetic energy, which is half m v square. In between potential energy and kinetic energy, it this the in between all the points, what is happening? Potential energy and kinetic energy both will be existing. What is the reason? See, it is from a particular height h, it is falling down. So it is having only potential energy. While it is falling down, what is happening? Potential energy will be decreasing and kinetic energy will be increasing. Okay, kinetic energy, potential energy decreasing, kinetic energy increasing. In that way, it is coming to the ground state. While it is coming to the ground state, height is zero, right? So, what will be the total energy? The total energy will be converting it into kinetic energy. So, in the same way, if I am considering a symbol, a pendulum I am considering. Okay, so while we are considering the pendulum, here it is at a maximum height. So, it has potential energy is here. It has no kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is zero. Okay, when it is coming here, what will happen? Potential energy will become zero. Kinetic energy is maximum. Okay, this is at the mean position. At the mean position, potential energy is zero. Kinetic energy is maximum. When it is coming to the left side, what is happening? Again, the potential energy will become maximum and kinetic energy will become zero. When it is coming down, what will happen? Potential energy in between these regions, potential energy and kinetic energy both will exist. Near to kinetic energy portion, it is only uh, kinetic energy. Its kinetic energy will be 
be maximum and potential energy will be zero okay so this is what happening in the case of energy that means energy is not losing anywhere it is just changing its form from one form to another this is called a conservation of energy okay clear next we are going to study about the power next is power power is the rate of doing work that is called a power rate of doing work is called a power okay rate of doing work rate means with respect to time that is power equals work done divided by time okay so what is the unit of uh, work done joule time is second so the unit of si unit of power is joule per second or we can write another unit as watt w a t t so what is the unit of power si unit is joule per second or watt watt is the unit of power okay so next we are going to find out see here this is power only another units of power are kilowatt kilowatt is 1000 joule okay so 1 kilowatt equals 1000 joule okay or we can write it as 1000 so it not 1000 joule 1000 joule per second or it is written as 1000 watt okay so 1000 joule per joule per second and watt are same so 1000 joule per second or 1000 watt like that we can write down the unit of power okay so all these are units of power next is what is the commercial unit of energy commercial unit of energy commercial unit of energy is kilowatt hour this is commercial unit of energy commercial unit of energy is kilowatt hour that means see if while we are getting electricity bill there it is it will be written in kilowatt hour in one hour how much work we have done okay in a particular the what is the rate of doing work in hour because that is called as kilowatt hour or we will write it as k w h kilowatt hour so how we can so this is not si unit this is the commercial unit so how we can represent 1 kilowatt hour into joule 1 1 kilowatt how we can convert it into watt 1000 watt so no, no so 1000 watt hour hour we can convert to second that is 1000 into 3600 so we can write it as here 3600 3600 into this one so 1 2 4 6 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joule kilowatt hour is written in joule as 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joule okay so this is the unit of commercial unit of energy and this is usually you, you know, children will be getting confused whether it is unit of power it is not the unit of power it is the unit of energy kilowatt hour okay so here uh, what how we can define usually how we will be defining units yes this watt is the see p equals w by t that means it is the amount of work done if t equals 1 second then we can say p equals that is w isn't it so it is the work done for 1 second it is the rate of work done in 1 second it is the amount of work done in 1 second is called a power uh, that is that that power is called as 1 watt so how we can define 1 watt the power of a system is equal to 1 watt if wow the work is 1 joule of work is done for 1 second in that way we can write down so if w equals 1 joule for 1 second then p equals 1 watt 
so power of a system is equal to 1 watt if we are giving 1 joule of work to one for 1 second that is called a power okay that is called as watt then this is how we will be defining watt okay clear understood so some in text questions also there i think all these everything we covered and uh, one more numerical is left out in the in text questions that one we will see okay so next is in page number 156 in text question what is power power is the rate of doing work is called power define one watt of power how we can define one watt yes just now we told if w equals one joule and t equals one second then we can say that p equals one watt that is equal to one watt power of a system is equal to one watt if one joule of work is done for one second then we can say power of a system is equal to one watt then next is third one a lamp consumes thousand joule of electrical energy in 10 second consuming thousand joule of electrical energy energy is given as thousand joule so energy we know it is equal to the work done so work done will be equal to thousand joule okay for of electrical energy in 10 seconds t is equal to 10 seconds what is its power power equals work done divided by time so thousand divided by 10 that is equal to 100 watt okay clear this is how we will be define finding out the power next is define average power how we can define average power average power is the total work done divided by total time that is the rate of total work done to the ratio of total work done to the total time this ratio is called as average power okay clear okay these are the main topics in that uh, work and energy in next video we will be continuing with the exercise questions so i hope all of you understood all those things and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye